This video will cover the topic solving a two-step linear inequality problem type 1. In problem type 1, we focus on linear inequalities where the variable has a positive coefficient. Um, how is solving an inequality different than just solving a regular equality? Great question. Solving linear inequalities is similar to solving linear equalities. However, instead of looking for one solution, we are looking for a range of solutions. Like with linear equalities, we want to isolate the variable on one side to find out what the variable could equal. Let's take a look at an example. 9 greater than or equal to negative 7 plus 4x. So, even though the equal sign isn't there, we still want to get the x by itself, right? That's right. So our first step is to add 7 to both sides, which then gets us the result 16 greater than or equal to 4x. Next, since there is still a positive 4 attached to the x, we need to divide both sides by 4, which then gets us the result of 4 greater than or equal to x. 16 divided by 4 is 4, so we find that 4 is greater than or equal to x. We can also rewrite this as x is less than or equal to 4, which tells us that the solution set of possible values of x contains all numbers less than and including 4. So if we were to put this on the number line, we would indicate that x can equal 4 while also indicating that x can equal anything less than 4. Okay, so when solving linear inequalities where the variable has a positive coefficient, we can isolate the variable on one side of the inequality sign and solve for the range of values? Exactly! 